Have you ever wanted to control your Mac or PC from your mobile device like this? Then in this video I'll show you how to do it. So welcome everybody, it's me Clashberry here and today as I said I'm going to show you how to control your Mac or PC from your mobile device. So anyways, beforehand I'm just going to say that this is purely for iOS users. I'm sorry for you Android users, but there are probably other softwares for you. But anyways, so today what you want to do is you go on to your Mac or PC and you type in this macid.co in your web browser. So this will take you to this page that says Mac ID unlock your Mac with just your fingerprint. And in this page it says that when it comes to compatibility you need a MacBook or any other Mac model and an iOS device in order to get this to work. However, there is a program for PCs that makes your PC into Mac and technically by that you can get this to work on a PC as well. And I will provide a link to that software in the description of this video. So anyways, from this site simply want to press download and then you download the software for your computer basically. So you also have to make sure to download the iOS app for this and it has basically the same name so just type in Mac ID in the App Store and you should be good to go. So in order to get the machines to communicate with each other you need to download the iOS app as well. Alright so when you have downloaded Mac ID for your Mac or PC you have to enable Bluetooth in order to get the apps to communicate with each other so make sure to turn Bluetooth on and do that on your iOS device as well. Alright so when you launch the app there are some different options that you have when it comes to controlling your Mac so for example you can if you have launched iTunes on your Mac you can control which songs you want to play by simply pressing these three buttons so for example I've chosen Alan Walker here on the screen that I'm recording simultaneously. So I've chosen Alan Walker, then I can simply press this button, play, pr play, and that will simply play the song, and then I can pause it, and then I can also switch to the next song, which is called Diviners, Feet Conquest Tropical Love, and then I can simply play that, play that as well. And then I can press the next one, and next one, and so on and so forth. So that is a very nifty and great function in this app, which I think is great. So when you're at it and you want to control your music, you can also adjust the volume by simply holding down on these buttons and three new buttons will appear. Voron is mute and decrease volume and increase volume. So if I want to play the music again, can you see that? I'll hold down and I'll mute it. And I'll mute, unmute it and I'll decrease the volume and I'll increase the volume which I think is great. And then there are also some shortcuts that you can do. For example, if you swipe left, you can disconnect and unpair the device automatically. And you can also, by simply swiping right, you can lock it, screen save it, or snooze request, and all those kinds of stuff. So, and then one of the best functions with this app is that you can lock and unlock your Mac with just your fingerprint. So basically how I'm going to do it is I've started a screen recording on my Mac that will make you see if the Mac is on and off, obviously. So let me do this. So it says tap to lock. So I simply tap to lock it and then the screen goes black. And then if I tap to unlock it, I get prompted to do my touch ID. So I do that, simply press that because I have an iPad Air 2 that supports touch ID and then boom, the Mac is on again which I think is great. And then lastly, you can also go into the settings of the app where you can find different things if you want to customize the app for your own needs. And basically, if you have an Apple Watch, for example, you can allow unlocking from your Apple Watch. But I don't have one, so I won't enable that. And also, when it comes to Touch ID notifications, you can do all kinds of tweaks here. Also, if you want to tweak the display, you can simply customize the app how it looks basically so that is great and then you can also create home screen shortcuts I guess as well 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any issues or questions regarding this program. And yes, this program does cost a few dollars, but in my opinion it is worth it. Because let's say that I forgot to turn off my Mac when I exited my room to just go and do something else. And then suddenly it is accessible for everybody else in my family that I don't want to be able to access it. So then I simply grab my phone or my iPad and I go into Mac ID and I lock my Mac from there. Just as simple as that, which I think is great. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm Flashbury and I'll see you in the next one.